Hi, this is Kyle Oliver, curator of Creative Commons Prayer and the Learning Faith and Media Newsletter. I'm doing a series of making of videos to show how I run the site and create its content. I hope they'll be useful for people who make faith-filled media as a spiritual practice, or anyone who creates for work or for fun. This video is available as a free sample. You can purchase others in the collection at creativecommonsprayer.com or access them all by supporting the site at the $2 per month level at patreon.com slash Kyle Oliver. So our first topic is automation. In my experience as a media manager for several religious organizations, my biggest frustration has been scheduling web content that will post at a later time. If you're just posting to a website, that's no problem. Ditto if you're posting just to social media. But if you want your future social media posts to link to a web page that isn't public yet, it gets really complicated. And if you want email subscribers to get your posts at a particular time, the situation is even trickier. If you don't mind spending some serious money on a third-party tool to solve this problem, the best one I know of is called CoSchedule. You can use it as a standalone social media scheduling tool or as a WordPress plugin that will let you create your social media posts right alongside the web content that you're trying to promote with them. It's a pretty powerful tool, but the cheapest account will set you back almost $500 a year. Another option for WordPress users is to upgrade your Jetpack service at the premium level, uh, which will cost you about $100 per year and get you access to a more powerful version of the WordPress Publicize plugin. I've never cared much for that plugin, and it's certainly not designed to be an easy standalone social media scheduler. Um, and so the solution that I recommend is a sort of hybrid and it costs about $140 a year, uh, less if you don't mind running an out-of-date WordPress plugin for a while after your year of support expires. The main engine of this approach is the powerful social media scheduling tool called Buffer. If you've ever seen uh, links on Facebook or whatever that start with uh, buff.ly, those were posts uh, that were scheduled uh, using this tool. So for $100 a year, you can connect up to 10 social media accounts using Buffer's awesome plan. Yes, that's what they call it. The idea behind this tool is to keep a queue of social media content lined up and ready to post to your platforms at key times. But the way I use Buffer to automate Creative Commons Prayer is with a little extra tool called WordPress to Buffer Pro. It's just a WordPress plugin. It costs about $40, and that comes with a year of support and updates. Just like CoSchedule and Publicize, what this tool lets me do is create customized social media posts to accompany new content on my website. So when a blog post goes live, all of those preset social media posts get sent to Buffer, and Buffer queues them up as if I were adding them manually in real time. Let's look at an example. Say I want to create two custom tweets from the Creative Commons Prayer Twitter account uh, sometimes after this post goes live early on Christmas morning. I've already got one of those tweets created, and if I just click here, I can add a second. That means at 4 a.m. on Christmas morning, these two tweets will be sent to Buffer, along with all the other content that I've already scheduled. What I select in this menu here determines how they get queued up. You can tell a post to go to the front of the line or the end of the line when it gets sent to Buffer. Once or twice since I started the site, I've had a little traffic accident uh, with posts that I had scheduled ahead of time on Buffer and then forgotten about, and so uh, the order of the queue got a little mixed up. This system isn't perfect, uh, but again, I don't want to spend 500 bucks a year on CoSchedule to make it better. More importantly though, there's another piece of automation that I need to consider. Creative Commons Prayer also has email subscribers, but I don't want to create a separate email to go along with every time I post to the blog. So I use MailChimp. It's one of the gold standard email management services, and it's free for up to 2,000 subscribers and up to 12,000 emails a month. So that is plenty big for my little uh, prayer and media side project. 
And it's plenty big for most small to mid-sized churches and probably for a lot of nonprofits. Um, so you can get a lot of functionality from MailChimp for free, as you probably know. As you can see, I have total control over how my emails to subscribers look. It's just like designing a regular MailChimp email, except for the system is pulling um, various fields out of my website's RSS feed. So I publish the post, and somewhere behind the scenes at a certain time of day, MailChimp is looking at my blog's new content and grabbing some of that content and putting it into this daily email. And uh, that email ends up in my uh, reader's inbox. Okay, that's a lot, let's review. Uh, here's everything you need uh, to use this method to automate social media posting and emails for your existing WordPress website or blog. First, purchase the Buffer Awesome Plan and connect up to 10 of your social media accounts uh, to Buffer. Second, go to Settings Posting Schedule within Buffers to set up those regular posting time slots on the days when you know you'll be publishing new blog posts. Third, purchase and install the WordPress plugin WordPress to Buffer Pro. Fourth, create a MailChimp account and use the built-in tools for creating a sign-up form to put on your website and uh, you can start growing your email list, which is still a hugely valuable commodity for anyone who is uh, trying to build an audience online. And then finally, uh, set up a new campaign, a new email campaign within MailChimp, uh, and select Share Blog Updates. And then you design the email to attractively publish the title and content of your new posts. Uh, there's a lot of good help documents from MailChimp for figuring out how to do that. So now, when you sit down to write a new blog post or create a new page on your website, all you have to do is write a little bit of extra copy uh, for your social media channels and then press schedule on the blog post. When that content goes live on your website, uh, within minutes or hours, depending on the timing of things, uh, your email subscribers and your social media followers will be seeing links to your content or the, uh, the entirety of the content, depending on what you choose, uh, and they'll see that with no additional effort from you. If media management is only a small part of your job, or if you have multiple jobs, or if media management is a, is a side project for you, this kind of one-touch workflow where you can do some concentrated work and then forget about it, boy, it can make your life a heck of a lot easier. Uh, and it might be the difference between um, a project that is possible for you to do uh, and one that just isn't. Thanks for checking out the first making of video. If you want access to future videos and our curated collection of reusable images, support Creative Commons Prayer on Patreon. In the meantime, this is Kyle Oliver reminding you that every prayer is a remix.